In this video, I'll briefly show you how to become a member of the Society for Conceptual Logistics in Communication Research. To begin, visit their website at www.sclcr.com. When you get to this homepage, you'll see a horizontal menu running across the top. If you put your mouse over Society and choose the bottom item Become a Member, you'll be taken to a form where you can join. You only need to provide a couple pieces of information, and again, this is completely free. First, provide your real name. This should be a name that people can know you by, and it's also the name that will receive credit whenever you contribute work to the site. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and enter a name, Kenneth Burke. Then, you need to select a username. The username is what you'll actually use to log into the website. It should be something that you don't mind people seeing, since it will be publicly available, but it doesn't necessarily need to be your actual name. So, for my username, instead of Kenneth Burke, I'll switch to Ken Burke. Then you need to provide your email address. This email address is never shown to anybody on the website. You only need to provide it in case you forget your password or need to contact the site for some reason. So I'll go ahead and enter my email address. And then you just need to provide a password, just like you would whenever you're joining any other free website on the internet. Then go ahead and put the address in a second time, just to confirm it. And then once you're done, hit join now. As you can see, the new membership was created. It says, welcome Kenneth Burke. Your new membership has been successfully created, but it isn't quite active yet. You will now be directed to the first time use page. It will just take a few seconds and then you're all set up. So we just click here where it says click here to continue. And then you can see the username Ken Burke, um, we haven't selected a category, but you can do that in the profile page later. And then it says activating your membership, and your membership has been activated. Thank you for joining. So we're all done. Which means we can go ahead and go back to the home page for the society. And now that we have a username and a password, whenever we want to, we can come up to the top and we can enter our username and password to log into the website. And now you can see that we're logged in as Ken Burke. And that login will follow us wherever we go. So even if we go to the home page, it'll follow us around as we try to use things. And now you are a member of the Society for Conceptual Logistics and Communication Research, and you can start making contributions to communication research and conceptual logistics. Congratulations, and thanks for joining.